Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you would like to upgrade to version 22H2 of Windows 10, which will be this year's feature update, then according to recent reports, um, there are manual download packages being made available, which um, are the feature update to uh, Windows 10 version 22H2. And these are being made available online, although at this stage, um, Microsoft has not officially started rolling out Windows 10 version 22H2. Now, um, the update is KB5015684, and it says there uh, the type is a Microsoft Update standalone package, which has a size of about 176, 177 kilobits, give or take, which is a very small update. Now, um, this is the enablement package, as I've mentioned in previous videos, that Microsoft uses for their feature updates now for Windows 10, which are very small um, upgrades and updates, as we can see, and really take a couple of seconds to install. And the feature update from uh, Windows 10 version 21H2 to Windows 10 version 22H2 um, will have no new features and major improvements. So when you um, install the update, um, after you restart your device, you are going to basically see the exact same operating system. Uh, the only difference will be that um, your uh, version will be uh, bumped up from version 21H2 to version 22H2 and the OS build will be bumped up from version 19044 to OS build 19045 as posted previously. Now just a word of caution here, um, uh, this is the uh, upgrade to version 22H2 although not officially rolled out by Microsoft so there are download links available online which by the way I will leave links to in the description if you would like to download and upgrade to version 22H2. But the download links are kind of disappearing quite fast online. I did a bit of um, research before posting this video and those download links, uh, which were made available approximately a couple of hours ago, 12 to 24 hours ago, um, are fast disappearing and becoming dead links. But I will leave one or two in the description, which I cannot guarantee will be there in the next couple of days. And um, just a word of caution, um, you install this at your own risk, although there are user reports from official and reputable media sites that this is upgrading users to version 22H2. Um, you do this at your own risk, and uh, um, basically how you do this is you um, go to one of the download links, which I will provide uh, in the description. Um, you um, open the download file once it's uh, been downloaded. Uh, you uh, go through the installation process and confirmations. Um, you wait for the system to install the update, which will take a couple of seconds, and then you restart your computer. And as mentioned, um, you're going to see no uh, major differences. The, uh, the upgrade will be very similar and identical to your previous version of Windows 10. And at this stage, um, personally, although it's very tempting uh, to upgrade now to version 22H2, I'm personally going to wait for the official update to roll out later on this year, possibly in October um, or thereabouts, um, um, although Microsoft hasn't officially um, given us an exact date and time, but I'm going to wait for that official download to be made available through Windows Update later on this year. But just wanted to let you know, if you are keen to get your hands on the next feature update sooner than later for Windows 10, um, you can do so by um, these um, download packages now that have been made available, which are basically the enablement packages to upgrade you to that next feature update of Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.